Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 471. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first news of the week is My Little Pony, a new generation movie get a uh, movie to get a theatrical release in Russia. Hmm. So I suppose they had the uh, dreams for the new generation aren't completely gone due to the pandemic. While Netflix will be a place to watch it in the state of other countries, Russia will be going with a full-blown theatrical release for huge fandom over there on the 23rd of September. Uh, this was found in a Russian licensing magazine and translated via Google. You can find the full announcement below. So let's read. Let's read. <coughs> uh, the Hasbro Summit took place on June twenty, uh, June seventeenth, two thousand twenty-one, at the Moscow Imperial Yacht Club. Uh, company employees, uh, company employees spoke about the hot news and plans for the My Little Pony, Peppa Pig, Transformers. Nerf, Monopoly, and PJ uh, Mask franchise. Oh, the pajama. Okay. Uh, the event was attended by over 150 representatives of retail and partner companies. Hasbro Russia CEO Oleg Sulik, Shul- 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 <laughs> I think so, uh, noted that the acquisition of Entertainment One allows Hasbro to tell its story at fundamental new level, which can be appreciated by the new film My Little Pony, A New Generation, will be released on 23rd September, and Transformers, The Rise of the Robots, to premiere on the summer of 2022. The deal allows the company to Engage in long-term strategic content planning. My little pony. <coughs> uh, let's see. After a decade of heartfelt friendship, daring adventures, and endless love, Equestria is. Oh, this is the uh, synopsis. Okay, la, 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 la. no problem. We already know that the company is uh, relaunching the brand this year for a whole new generation of kids, Generation Alphas, in or uh, in October 2022. The new series, Pony Life, was released uh, from October to December of 2020. And it was the lead in the retelling of the most popular show on the Kurausel TV channel. Okay. You know what? Uh... I, I don't see where they say they're going to show it in theaters. Huh. Okay. That's something interesting. But anyway, um, if it's true that um, the new generation is going to be on theaters, that's going to be very interesting. Uh, I've been to my share of premieres, or well, at least uh, TV sc- uh, movie screening. And it was pretty cool. A lot of fans, a lot of kids. Uh, Theatre was not packed, but still, it was a lot of fun. Uh, All in all, I feel like this is something that is going to be really, really cool. Uh, With the current state that we're in now, uh, we can't really have any movies right now i mean uh if i'm not mistaken the united states are slowly getting there but malaysia and other countries are not so we have the netflix for uh, a compromise we still get to see new content and we get to see the new movies while being safe at home so yay that's awesome so anywho let's head up to the next one so next one is a new netflix listing for My Little Pony, a new generation show of date and time for countries around the world. <clears throat> so, 
Um, this one is basically a synopsis of no, it's it's just basically a re retell of previous news. So, uh, I'm just going to tell you from my point of view. Uh, I tried going to the Malaysian Netflix and the new generation was up there, no pictures, uh, synopsis is there and all, but there's no time and date. For Malaysia that is, I'm not 100% sure for other countries, uh, maybe in your country they listed it, so that's good, but other countries, like but for Malaysia we haven't had any new info. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes later on. So yeah. Uh, this this thing is going to be, or the movie is coming so soon. Uh, it was September twenty seventh, twenty second, maybe I don't remember, but it's going to. Um, <laughs> the movie is going to go out worldwide and stuff, and it's going to be really exciting, really really exciting. So let's move on to the next news, and next news is new Express Yourself motion poster release for G five. Why did I put this one in here? <clears throat> New Motion poster has uh, released celebrating more Friendship Day. My Little Pony New Generation is a selfie though. If the above you want. Okay, um, I, I guess it's cool. Oh, so they were really fought. Okay, cool. Why did I put this one here? Huh. I, I got no idea. But it's cool. It's cool. I, I, I guess they'll show this in the movie somehow integrate it maybe and last news is <coughs> new shining adventure collection generation 5 my little pony toy set with deputy sprout appears yes so with the character reveal trailer a few weeks ago we know the my little pony a new generation movie will be more than just the five main ponies we've seen so far there, uh, there are supporting cast following around out there. Unfortunately, their merch offering have been a bit limited. That's true because nobody really cares about the side characters. So yeah. Anyway, um, Deputy Sprout here in particular has basically been completely ignored until now. Uh, despite the price tag, the set clocks in at fifty dollars. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be at forty nine ninety nine. Uh so far we've had mixed reports on which on oh sorry, on merch availability. So there uh, is a good chance the Walmart or Target near don't have one, but feel free to check anyways. Okay, um so this is one of those things where we talked about before. Uh I don't think I mentioned, but I'm gonna say this. Um, uh, toys, merchandising, and whatnot kind of spoil uh, content for the movie because, well, it's supposed to be a surprise. A what you call this? A surprise reveal. Oh, there's going to be this guy. He's going to be part of the crew and whatnot. But because of toys, they spoil that. <laughs> oh, boys. So anyway, um. <laughs> What was his name again? Uh, Sprout something. Let's let's have a close look. Uh, Deputy Sprout. So, from what I can tell, this is not confirmed by me or any place I know. This is just from what I'm seeing and what I'm interpreting. So, uh, we have his trailblazer. His profession is the sheriff of the town. I forgot the name. Probably he's there. Sunny Star Scout is good friends with Hitch. They've been childhood friends. And Deputy Sprout here, judging from his name, is the deputy for Hitch, for the sheriff thing. So I'm guessing these three are close friends and they know each other. And now, when you take a look see at the team dynamic, we have six ponies. And this is the, um, uh, what do you call this? This is the main six that we're talking about. Or the six ranger or six character, six hero, whatever. And when we first saw the list, there's uh, Hitch, Sunny, Easy, Zip, 
and petals, princess petals. Okay, so the, um, those were the five main characters, or the main five that we seen, and it's kind of a nice balance. So that's awesome, because what we have two pegasi, two earth ponies, and one unicorn. And my hope and prediction was we will get another unicorn to the group. Probably another male unicorn. That would be awesome and different. But it seems that, no, uh, we were going to go for a, another earth pony. And here's the thing. I'm just saying that this pony here could be the sixth. sixth. And the team dynamic is going to be skewed to more earth pony rather than a balance of twos. But we, if the story that they're going to tell is going to be awesome, so we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. But uh, Sprout here might not be the final six. This just could be a toy for them to just put in and sell. So my verdict is that Sprout here could be the sixth main cast, but he could be a red herring alluding to another unicorn coming to the group. Or, uh, Sprout here has a very short horn. Yes. So anyway, uh, either or, the reveal of Sprout here is going to be something to look forward to into the future. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how things go, because if the movie is awesome and we love all six of them and we kind of relate with them that's awesome and it doesn't really matter how team dynamic dynamic goes as long as we enjoy them and we can move forward with them if we feel like things are going wrong like things doesn't seem right because well they're trying to do an agenda or something i mean we'll have to wait and see we we'll have to wait and see and with that that is my week so <clears throat> Let's move on to the next topic, and next topic is what have I been doing with my week? So, what have I been doing this week? Uh, last week, I told you about what I've been, what I plan to do, and I did them. Um, recorded something for the Gatewatch cast, and did the Magic the Gathering thing. Um, where is it? Yes, I cracked open a box of. Yes, th this is good. This is good. Yeah. I crack open this and <laughs> uh, played with it at the at the recording location, and it was pretty good. Like uh, the recording went well. Video is about to go up soon, and the pre-constructed decks are pretty good and pretty neat. I suggest that if you are a fan of D and D, a fan of Magic the Gathering, to go get yourself a box and. This if uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is about what um thirty nine ninety nine probably thirty five ninety nine. So yes, if you are a fan, go get one yourself. If not, then no problem. The next thing I did was play Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Ed, and that has been recorded and that has been edited and waiting to go up. For that one, I got no idea where to put. I was thinking about putting it on the MBS show, but it felt like it was not really... How do I put it? It doesn't really feel um, right, or it doesn't fit in with the theme of the MBS show, um, because, well, usually we go for more um, discussions and reviews and whatnot. So suddenly to have a gameplay ch thing on the channel seems, seems a bit off. So, I'm going to put that video up and probably link it below somewhere or just talk about it on as a special message on my personal channel, Norman Sanzo. <coughs> Mostly what I do there is just post stuff, you know, just random stuff. And I'm just guessing that, okay, maybe for this one, that'll be a right place for it. Uh, if you do want more content like that, please tell me and I'll try and do something about it. <clears throat> okay, on other news, I've been watching an anime. Uh, it's not a new anime, it's kind of um, old, but 
it's a really popular one. And the anime is called My Hero Academia. And boy, did I jump on the train late. But I, <laughs> but am I glad that I did because I've, I'm catch up to season 5 now. And it is a really good anime. Um, the storytelling and whatnot is very interesting. And from what I can tell from the wiki and whatnot, I think it's near its end, probably. I don't know. But it's really good. It's really good. Uh, so if you guys are on the fence on watching My Hero, I suggest going go and do so. Like, just go catch season one and try and, try and figure out if you like it or not. Uh, that's what I did, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, I watched the dub version, uh, which is in English, and it was not bad. The voice acting was good, and it was it was okay. It was a good start. Like uh, I enjoyed watching it uh, in English, but when it came to season four, they didn't have any English dub, so I had to go for uh, what you call this. I I just had to watch it in Japanese. Which was also good too. I mean, there's no harm there. Anyway, um, all in all, the uh, my hero is good, and I highly recommend it. Like that, that's been oh, <laughs> that has also been taking up my time. Uh, in terms of gaming, ah oh man, um, Street of Rage Four has been re is a really good game, and it's taken up a lot of my time by with with doing editing and whatnot like when i have time to game i'll play that and it was really it's really fun okay so anyway um that's the that, that's what i've been doing my week um next week next week i got no idea i mean next week is going to be a blank um there's no projects in terms of what i want to do there's no really, really there's nothing really interesting going on for me in that end but who knows, if I do have something, I record something, I'll let you guys know and just post it there. So anyway, um, let's wrap things up. <clears throat> so anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at theambitiogmail.com or you can reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, do check us out for updates and whatnot. Probably I'll, I'll try to be active there trying. Yes. I, I usually post updates on when the episodes are out, but I'll try and do more than that. Try. Anyway, and also please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and also Stitch Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on funnylife.com. Links will be in the show notes. Uh, <clears throat> if you would please do subscribe and read us on iTunes and Stitch Radio for the review and discussion podcast over there. You can catch me and Tara reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, specials, and movies. And sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies, and those are cartoon, comics, animes, mangas, and video games. Yes. So do check us out there for those kind of content. And if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous. I would like to thank uh, Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master of Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya.